In the 1970s, an art movement called Conceptual Art was created. This movement focused on the concept of the art piece rather than the attractiveness or materials used. Conceptual art included two different forms, performance art and minimalism. Performance art consisted of time, space, the artist's body, and the connection between the artist and the audience. It was live, but was considered art, not a theater performance. I to, to have this idea that to make art, you don't need objects, you just need yourself the object. There's only one place that I know, and that is where I sleep. Performance artists like Gilbert and George, who decorate themselves and sang songs for the audience, were able to express their views more personally and this form of art was entertaining for the audience. For some, no gallery or museum space is necessary. Minimalism, on the other hand, was a form of conceptual art that produced artworks its most basic shapes, colors, lines, and textures. Minimalist artist Frank Stella once said, what you see is what you see, meaning that most of the minimalist artworks are intended to have no real meaning behind them. Ellsworth Kelly is famous for the simplicity in his artwork and his use of bright colors. Conceptual art was pretty different from all the other art movements before it. The art movement was considered unique because it did not follow the traditional forms of painting or sculpting. 